Hello there, dear friends, and welcome once again to the Relaxed Fantasy Review. On this channel, we spend our time looking at fantasy of all sorts, from books to movies to video games, and applying the characters within into the tabletop game Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition. Today, though, we're going to be looking at a core mechanic of D&D itself, specifically the race from the player's handbook known as the Dragonborn. Dragonborns are creatures that are humanoid in nature, but that have draconic ancestry, and that gives them the scaly appearance with the claws and the facial features of the dragons themselves. But how do they stack up mechanically in the game, and how would you use them? Let's have a look-see at this legendary race. Now, all races get ability score increases as standard. The Dragonborn get the ability score increase of plus two to their strength and plus one to their charisma. They don't have any sub-races that uh, change this, and the Dragonborn are very, very lean leaning into the paladin or fighter mindset as far as their power goes. Now, I give a uh, 8 out of 10 to the plus 2 to strength because it is very specific to melee fighting, but I also give an 8 out of 10 to that plus 1 to charisma. Charisma is a great ability for lots of different classes. People like warlocks and sorcerers and bards really love having their charisma high. Um, I also give a 10 out of 10 to their size because they're medium creatures. All player characters are either small or medium, and medium is the better of the two. And then a 9 out of 10 to their speed. Their speed is 30 feet, uh, which is very standard. And then there's their main power, Draconic Ancestry. Draconic Ancestry gives them two different features. One, it gives them damage resistance depending on the ancestry. You choose one of the 10 basic dragons in the monster manual, and you get damage resistance to that type of damage. This is very, very nice. Any damage resistance is good. It also gives you a breath weapon for that elemental type, be it fire, lightning, cold, acid. There's lots of different options to choose from, either line weapons or cone weapons, and it's something that you can use um, a couple times per day. And it is a nice fallback, since it doesn't actually count as a spell, it's just a natural ability. It doesn't susceptible to things like magic resistance or counterspell or anything like that. It's just a nice natural power you get. I give Draconic Ancestry a 9 out of 10. Then there are the languages Common and Draconic. Draconic's a great language to know, and Common is standard, everyone knows it. So I give these two a 9 out of 10 for the languages, and as a total score for the whole Dragonborn, since that's really all that it comes down to with Dragonborns, um, I give 9 out of 10. Their strength is fantastic, their Draconic Ancestry is good, that extra boost to Charisma is handy for a lot of different classes, and their size, speed, and languages are exactly what you'd expect from a Dragonborn. They're not a complex race, they're very, very simple mechanically, but with that Breath Weapon, Strength, and Charisma, they're, they're just good. They're a good race to play, and really fun to roleplay as well, especially when you lean into that Draconic Ancestry, it can make a big difference in the long run of the game when you run into dragons. This has been the Relaxed Fantasy Review. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe down below, and keep your eyes out for more race reviews coming down the line soon. Have a good one, my friends.